So this is a video uh, for the startup uh, strategy makers, people who are just learning uh, the skill of strategy making. Uh, if you are an experienced strategy maker, you too can watch it. Uh, but help us by commenting in the section below uh, in this effort to help and teach new people uh, to learn the strategy making. If you haven't really seen the previous video which was uploaded last week, I recommend uh, that you should watch it because uh, a lot of what we are going to talk today is a continuation of we have, what we have covered in the previous video. So for the strategy making, I've, I've, in the previous video as well, uh, I've expressed my view that uh, this is something that anyone can learn and anyone can start to make strategies. You can be uh, a homemaker, a, a student, uh, a, a professional who has just started his career, uh, an entrepreneur. Uh, you can be highly educated or, or, or just with a basic uh, level of literacy. You can all make strategies. Strategy is not something that is only uh, there for people sitting on the uh, board of big corporations and the CEOs and the governor state bank. Anyone can build strategies. And I've uh, sort of started this process of uh, telling and teaching people how they can make their skills in strategy making uh, better with time. So in this video, I'm going to present to you uh, a few tips uh, that I think will help you uh, build your strategy making muscles. I say muscle because I believe that any skill is like building your muscle. You have to exercise it regularly, uh, starting with the lower weights uh, and finally increasing your efforts and weights, uh, finally to become really uh, a professional uh, strategy maker in this case. So uh, these tips, I'm, uh, primarily there are two tips. Uh, the first one is that uh, start with simple things. Uh, so instead of trying to sort of really jump forward and start uh, your strategy making with something complex and complicated, uh, my tip, my advice to you would be that you start uh, with a simple uh, task. Uh, just make sure that it is not uh, a day-to-day -day task. It should be uh, something which is out of your ordinary routine. Uh, it should be something that is a problem or a challenge that you uh, face which is uh, slightly unique. Uh, I can give you an example. For example, my geezer is not working. I mean, this is not something which uh, a problem which comes, which is a routine problem. It's something which uh, is slightly exceptional that it, it doesn't happen every year. So this year, the geezer is not working. I can define the goal of making sure that I get the hot water the entire uh, month of uh, winter. And then uh, I can evaluate various strategies various action sets uh, to see which would suit me the best. And of course, I can define the measuring criteria in order to see that how far I have uh, come to achieve uh, my goal of having warm water throughout the year. So this is an example of something that you can uh, do at home. Similarly, you can uh, pick up a task, a function, a problem, a challenge, a need uh, at your work, uh, within your function, nothing complicated, and then build a strategy uh, on it. My advice is to, again, new strategy maker uh, is that you uh, continue to practice this, uh, this skill. You make strategy now, execute it and uh, learn from it, then make another strategy, execute it and learn from it. So instead of uh, going for something complex in the beginning and then making it difficult for you, uh, work on it like a, a person uh, starts to sort of exercise in a gym with the lighter weights first. Uh, but make a routine, make a, make a frequent uh, strategies, implement them frequently. Uh, so slowly and steadily you can uh, learn and hone the skill of strategy making. So this is my uh, advice, uh, the two advices as such. Uh, the first part being that uh, make it simple, make it easy. And the second part being that uh, make it, you know, work on a problem that is slightly out of ordinary. I mean, going to work on a day-to-day -day basis, you can't uh, build a strategy on that because it's a routine activity. You have to pick something simple, but yet uh, something which is unique, uh, which is out of your ordinary routine. So these are the two tips. Uh, in the next video, uh, I'll uh, talk a little bit about goal setting, uh, which uh, when I work on building strategies at an expert level, uh, this is something that takes most of my time and most of my energy. You know, the goals, when they come out on a paper, they can be simply two bullets point uh, four lines uh, in a document which can be 50 to 60 pages long. But to me, goal setting is 
the most important thing and setting the wrong goals can really uh, set you up for uh, you know wasting a lot of money a lot of time a lot of resources so in terms of providing expert consultancy services i spend most of my time uh, analyzing the environment analyzing the challenges the situation only to reach this point where i can set my goals uh, but uh, more on this in the next episode how i apply various techniques various tools uh, to set the goals i'll give you some real life examples also on you know uh, wrong goals versus the right goals so stay tuned next week i'll talk a little bit about uh, setting the goals right uh, and hopefully that too will uh, be a valuable information for you so do comment in the section below so i can continue to improve my content and bring things to you so that you can value them you can learn from them and you can apply them in your day to day lives 